Hello everybody, it's James here with James with Fitness and uh, I want to talk about um, my opinions of the hook rip and I want to do a video on um, hook rip versus mix grip and why they are used and um, why I might prefer one or the other or the pros and cons of each. So let's get into that. First things first, like, share, comment, subscribe, everything like that. I don't say it every video, but I really should. But anyway, uh, hook rip. So basically, when you have your hand like a hook, like this. What this does is allows you to lift the weight um, without utilizing um, the grip strength as much. I mean, you're still using, a lot, using it to a great extent, but what it does is your grip is going to become a limiting factor once you start lifting really heavy weights on deadlift. So, a hook grip is used so you can pull more weight without the uh, grip being a limiting factor. So is the mix grip because it prevents bar roll. Um, basically, the merits to the hook grip are that you can lift more weight as so with the, with uh, the the mix grip, but um, the thing with the mix grip, it potentially could lead to bicep injuries and bicep tears if you do not alternate the hands. And really, to be honest with you, um, it probably will cause a muscle imbalance if you continue to use the same hand supinated or pronated or vice versa because uh, you're not loading the body equally so you're using you'll be using more compensatory strength over time if you do the hook group with I mean the uh, the mix group without alternating the hands and that that's one thing to keep in mind like um, as you've all figured out at this point I do um, Watch the orc if you if you get my drift. But um, yeah, he has an old bicep injury as you obviously know, and um, he's using the hook grip now because he has a muscle imbalance because of his bicep injury and due to the fact that um, he never switched his pronated and supinated hands. They always said stayed, stayed um, the um. Injured bicep, pronated in the uninjured one, uh, supinated. So, again, that, that contributes to the thing. But uh, if you're going to use a uh, hook grip or actually if you're going to use mix grip, change the hands. If you're going to use hook grip, make sure you do so with care with your um, thumbs and hands so you don't tear skin off your hands. And... Um, but I mean, I like the hook grip because once you get used to it, you can pull a lot of weight and uh, you don't really have to think about gripping the bar as hard as you possibly can. Now, is it to say that like you shouldn't concentrate on gripping the bar as hard as you can? No, concentrate on gripping the bar as hard as you can. But you can grip the bar as hard as you can without um, giving it less thought. Without double overhand, you're sitting there doing this and you're squeezing there. You have like to have the hook. And the hook stops the um, stops the bar roll and everything. So your um, the weight can press against your fingers, creating more creating some grip strength training. And while your um, while your hands are wrapped around the bar, the bar still presses on your hand. So that that's how it creates uh, more some grip training simulation. But other than that, like, I would say double overhand. People should still do it for grip training. But either way, I think, um, I think learn hook grip even af even while you're like a novice would be good. Although I do recommend um, novices learn the double overhand just to get some grip strength to them. While they're working in the... Um, 
Hooker or shortly thereafter. So they both have their merits and cons and everything like that. But um, I personally like the hook grip because I've done it. I've started messing with it and I like it. So I hope this video has been useful and I'll talk to you all next time.